In honor of International Women's Day on March 8th, we are celebrating some of the most influential women who work in government, science, and activism, and how they have shaped our environmental understanding and our priorities for change. Wangari Matai's initial work as a vet in Kenya exposed her to the impact of environmental degradation on local people. As a result, she founded the Green Belt Movement, which sought to address poverty by planting trees. Matai also challenged corruption and injustices present in Kenya's political system, going on to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. She was the first woman from the African continent to gain this recognition. The name Greta Thunberg needs no introduction. Her school strike for climate protests grabbed the world's attention, inspiring millions of young people across hundreds of nations to do the same. She has delivered speeches across Europe and the Americas, including at COP24 and 25, the European and British parliaments, and the United Nations Climate Action Summit, all while refusing to travel by plane. Thunberg then returned to her native Sweden and resumed her schooling, but remains an active campaigner. Christiana Figueres was appointed Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in 2010, following the failed COP15 conference. Alongside Patricia Espinosa and Connie Hedegaard, she subsequently led the organization to five successful conferences. This culminated in 2015 with the landmark signing of the Paris Agreement at COP21. In 1856, Eunice Foote published the first scientific paper detailing the phenomenon we now know as the greenhouse effect. And the initial recognition by the scientific community was brief and inconsistent, and Foote's experiments were quickly forgotten, perhaps due to her amateur status and gender. It was not until 2010 that Foote's work was rediscovered and elevated to its appropriate level of reverence. Dr. Rian Mari Thomas OBE is Chief Executive of the Green Finance Institute, following on from years pioneering environmental thinking at Barclays. Within the civil service, Mari in Spain works passionately as Chief Executive of Natural England to preserve and enhance the natural environment for all UK citizens. There are many more amazing women who deserve recognition. Meanwhile, there is growing recognition of the imbalance of the effect of climate change on women. For instance, the Gender Day at COP26 dedicated to progressing gender equality and the full and meaningful participation of women and girls in climate action. However, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change had just 33% female contributors in the same year. Discrimination, structural barriers, and lack of access to education all prohibit women from participating in government and decision-making. However, what cannot be stopped are the thousands of small-scale initiatives led by women that make an enormous difference to local communities. There are indigenous women of Colombia, Ecuador, and French Guiana fighting for and conserving the land they live on. Or the Fijian Market Vendors Association that empowers members to become climate resilient in the face of devastating cyclones or the Moroccan journalists producing radio and television programs on environmental protection and climate change in the Amazigh language. These women refuse to be left out, utilizing their unique knowledge and skills to overcome immense challenges. 